consumers' banking relationships have room for improvement, with only 11% feeling a sense of belonging with their current bank, which in turn impacts one's financial health, according to a nationwide survey from Frostbank. Well, here with more on how a sense of belonging plays a role in our overall financial health is Frostbank CEO Phil Green. Phil, thank you for joining me this morning. I guess I want to take a step back first, just so that people can understand the parameters here. When we talk about financial health, what framework did you use when you were conducting this survey? Rochelle, thanks for having me, first of all. But uh, what we used was some information from the CFPB, where they have used a, a an index on what does financial health mean? And basically, I would describe it as, are you over leveraged? Do you have a, a savings cushion? Can you make the kind of decisions that make your life better? And do you have goals? Uh, and are you making progress? to those goals from a financial standpoint. So that's what we use as our baseline. And we ask people, you know, how they felt about their relationship with their bank. You're right, it's 11% found that they had a sense of financial belonging with the financial institution. But 74% of people said that that's what they wanted. So we saw a really big gap there. So why do you think there is this big gap? And, and talk about that correlation between that financial belonging and how much it tends to affect your financial health. Well, we found that if you did feel like you had financial belonging with your financial institution, you were 160% more likely to have better financial health. And we think that's important. You know, we really want to be a force for good at Frost in our communities, with our customers, with our neighbors. And uh, we think that's significant. And so we did this research back in the summer. It was with uh, broad-based, all age groups uh, using census data. And what we found out was that uh, there's a staggering gap, as we just discussed. And what we wanted to do to try to help make things better is we wanted to get this research out, not just have it for ourselves and for our marketing strategies, but to put that out to give others a sense of what it takes to create financial belonging with their customers and with the community. Because we have seen a growth in a lot of online banks. I, I know that when I popped into a Capital One and I was trying to get a card, they said you have to do it online. So there is there is also some of this disconnect from what used to be the traditional banking relationship. But talk about some of the indicators then of financial belonging, because I know you've listed trust, knowledge, access and a hybrid experience. Now, what does that mean from the bank's perspective versus, say, the consumer's perspective? Well, I think what it really means from both our perspectives, it's relationship. It's it's an, having that ability to en encounter a human when you need help, and uh, and that's that's key. And so, in all of our various channels, whether it be technology, whether it be face to face, uh, whether it's uh, in a in a local branch, we give you that human access so that when you need something, well, we can provide it to you. And and what you've what you said is really important that 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 hybrid experience is a combination of personal touch and also great technology. But technology where if you need to, you can quickly get access to a human. Now it's interesting because when we look at the behavior, people saying that they want that relationship but not actually taking action on it. Yahoo Finance did a poll to ask people, you know, if they thought, even if they thought it was going to help their financial health, would they be willing to switch banks? And 44.8% said they would not, were not willing to switch banks. So then how do you change that narrative? Then how do you how do you encourage people to want to then build a better relationship with their bank if they're saying they want to for the most part, but then they don't actually do it in practice? Right. It's it's difficult. I think the biggest reason people don't change banks, uh, and of course uh, I'm biased on this, but I believe in my bones, they just don't know what some banks offer. They particularly don't know what Frost Bank offers. They don't know that it will provide those elements of financial belonging that people have told us about. Trust, you know, how, how am I treated? Do I give you overdraft grace? Do I give you early payday availability? What about advice and, and knowledge? Most people feel that knowledge is a big inhibitor for them feeling belonging. And do they have someone that'll come alongside and help them through that? We already talked about the hybrid experience and what we provide there. And so uh, those are those are those things which we've got to provide. But most people don't really know that it's available to them. And what we're trying to do with this research and with our other marketing efforts and just day to day dealing with people and, and word of mouth is to let people know 
that there's an institution like Frost that's committed to their financial belonging and therefore their financial health. And I know it can be a lot for people to then have to sort of switch all their accounts and update their direct deposits and debits. I know for a lot of people, sometimes it's just like, it does seem like a lot of hassle, but perhaps if they see some of the benefits that would encourage them. Um, I do want to ask you about inflation and how you're seeing that impacting some of the consumer and banking behavior. Well, inflation, it was interesting. It's It's been sticky, stickier, I know, than the Fed wants. I think particularly in the services area, they've seen that. And I think that's because of wages have been really uh, moving up and services is very uh, sensitive to that. So if there's no doubt inflation is still with us. I think it's going to mean the Fed's going to have to be higher for longer. And I think one of the reasons that we're, we're getting that inflation we're, and we're, you're, you're seeing that the, the uh, consumer uh, spending still uh, is up and, uh, and, and consumers are still pretty financially healthy. You know, they're not as strong as they were back just coming out of the pandemic when there's so much liquidity, but there's still a lot of liquidity in households balance sheets. And I think they're still spending. Indeed, certainly saw that from the retail sales as well. Frost Bank CEO, Phil Green, thank you for joining me this morning.